We're paying homage to the lobster shacks in Puerto Nuevo, Mexico by making a crazy delicious lobster burrito. Oh, f me. About an hour south of downtown San Diego is Puerto Nuevo, Mexico. 15 minutes south of downtown is the border. You go across the border in 45 minutes, you're in Puerto Nuevo, and it's known for one type of food in about a dozen different restaurants. Puerto Nuevo style lobster. And so they take a lobster, they split it in half, they deep fry it. <sighs> It gets ridiculously amazing. And then they serve it with rice, beans, and warm, fresh tortillas. And we're taking all of that goodness and making a burrito out of it. What makes this even more fun is that this recipe and the rice and the beans are in my soon to be published fifth cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, Between the Buns. It is the most ridiculous picture I've ever seen in my life, isn't it? It is but it's great. It's crazy. Congrats. Uh, thank you, thank you. The book comes out May 17th, uh, and it just went to the printer, and that's good because there's nothing in it. This is what, in the business, we would call a cover. I don't know what they call this in the business. A dummy copy or something. A dummy copy for the dummy. But to celebrate this coming out, and to encourage you to get off the stick. That's what she said. <laughs> If you go to the link below or to uh, thecookingguy.com, you'll find a link that you can enter to win a private virtual cooking class with me, Sam the Cooking Guy. That'd be my name right there, Sam the Cooking Guy. You'll pick three recipes out of the book, and just like this, it'll be just like this right now, except it's just you and who's ever with you. How cool is that? That'll be fine. Yes, one person will get that, and then uh, four other people will get uh, a Nikiri knife and a, a Sam the Cooking Guy 12 inch cast iron pan. By the way, I'll be paying for that myself. Nobody has to worry. I'm not taking profits away from the, the group here. It'll just be me. I'm moi. Me. All right? The recipe as we'll make it today is exactly like we'll be in here. And I hope it works out because it's being printed right now. Here's our plan. Rice, beans, the lobster. Should we start? Start with the rice. Yeah, that's good. We begin with a splash of avocado oil and a half of a yellow onion. Diced. A little stir and we let this start to soften a bit. Oh, you know, four or five minutes. And while the onions for the rice are almost finishing, let's start the uh, beans. They start the same way, little oil in the pot and some onion. And we'll give that a little mix around. Four or five minutes, that'll be ready. In the meantime, we can address our rice. So to the onions, we add a cup of white rice, followed by a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of oregano, Mexican oregano in this case, and a teaspoon of cumin. And we'll give that a little mix. The spices will toast a little bit, thereby infusing the rice with some fantastic aroma and flavor. Then we will add our liquid ingredients, and those will be one and three quarter cups of chicken broth and a half a cup of tomato sauce. Oh, this is the worst measuring cup ever. It's all these edges that are keeping, I hate you. And we mix. This we're just gonna stir, mix everything together, get it to a boil. We'll put a lid on it and turn it down. But while it's getting there, let's come back to our beans. This is a 28 ounce can of drained, as you can see, pinto beans. I like to hang on to the bean water because we're gonna use it to thin these out a bit. But now to this we'll add half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of salt. And while I'm here, I forgot to add salt to the uh, rice. So I will also add a half a teaspoon of salt to that. Great, we'll stir the rice. It's getting close to boiling, I hope. Come back, we'll mix the beans. Stir this. I like that all nicely mixed. Now we're gonna add about, oh, about a half a cup of the bean liquid to the pot. About a half a cup. What have I got here? I've got half cups. Beautiful. Okay, this comes together. I tell you right now, refried beans are one of my favorite things ever. Perfect. These will simmer, the rice will simmer, and then we'll take it from there. So you see the rice is bubbling away beautifully. Give it one more stir. Put the lid on and then uh, turn down the heat. Let it simmer away for 15 to 18 minutes and you'll know when the rice is good. Meanwhile, our beans are simmering and softening. So we'll just mash the back of our spoon to get them to the consistency that you want. And I like a little chunky, a little smooth. So while this is happening and the rice is cooking, we can uh, get ready to crack on with our lobster lads. All right, who wants to have some fun? Yes. This is a pot of boiling water, only about an inch, because that's all we need. This is my bamboo steamer. I'll sit that on the top, and then we'll take two five-ounce lobster tails, 
pretty little fellows, aren't they? We'll put one kid this way, one kid this way. We'll put the steamer lid on. We'll give them three minutes. And by the way, calling them kid reminds me of something we'll talk about when we're eating. Time's up after three minutes. And there they are, look at them. They're starting to look amazing. All right, let's take them over and uh, do something with them. And there they are. And to stop them cooking, if they're not there yet, you can tell, but let's just put them in a little ice water. Just for a minute. Great. Fabuloso, as we would say. Would we? Uh, somebody might. <laughs> now we'll take them out. Get off as much water as you can. Get the little fellows there to drain and to dry. So, a little more drying is never a bad thing because they're going into oil, remember? And that's probably not good to have these things soaking wet. But once you've got them, like this. So what we wanna do is we wanna cut like that. So get a decent pair of scissors, kitchen shears, and take the end and just right under the shell. And then you're gonna cut right up the middle, up to the tail, do this on both, but not through the tail. Up to the tail, but not through. Now we're gonna take a big knife, put it in here, and just cut down to that breastplate like this. Love it. So look, it's perfect, I love it. These are little flippers. It helps the kid go through the water and run along the sand bottom. These are only gonna take about two minutes. So once this is done, get back that paper towel and just make sure it's nice and dry here on all the pieces. Dry, dry, dry. Now, let's go to the fryer, boys. And while we're waiting for the fryer to heat up, we need some garlic butter because this is a very important part. It's a couple tablespoons of butter. This would be a big, beautiful clove of garlic that we'll let start melting together. And he gets one more thing, a pinch of smoked paprika. Looks perfect to me. No, this just does this. I realize it's not very exciting, but it is super important because what you're gonna wanna do is drizzle some of this garlic paprika butter inside the burrito before you roll it up. And then maybe a little extra drizzling on top of each bite as you go. So that's good and noisy. Now we're ready for the lobster deep frying. And we take one of our pieces and in we go. Love this. I know it sounds like screaming, but it's not. Two minutes, it's all they're gonna need. Don't you love it when it gets red like that? So depending on uh, how hot your oil is, depending on how cold your lobster pieces are, you're gonna need probably maximum um, minute and a half or so. We want them opaque, which they're so close, God. Welcome to Baja, Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. Gorgeous, I love them like this. And we're there. Let's let them drip for a few seconds. We'll take them out. They're so pretty. Look at these guys. Come on, fellas, time to make a burrito. So now you just gotta take them out, steamy. That was called a bite from the maker. Oh my God. It's sweet, it's fantastico. Oh gosh. Look at that. Three minutes of steaming, two minutes in the pot. And what do you get? You get this gorgeous, beautifully cooked, nice and sweet, perfect lobster that I am just not completely able to get out in an easy sort of way. One more. Boys, I don't know if there's enough for anybody other than me. I'm feeling really bad about this right now, but that's it. That's it, buddy. That's what we want. Okay, off to the side. We give this a, just a quick little rough chop. Bite-sized pieces is where you're headed here. Push back here. Now, let's build. And here's what happens. Ow! You burn your fingers to start, and then you take some of the refried beans, you put them right in the middle. Oh my God. Lord, I am a happy man right now. And you do the beans first, because if you tried to do the rice first, you're gonna have a hard time with the beans. And then the rice. Now let me point something out. Everybody always asks about the tortillas that we buy. And we buy normally from a taco shop and they're 14 inches. Every burrito in the cookbook is based on a 12 inch tortilla and that is readily available from the supermarket. Now comes your lobster. And if you wanna put every single piece in here, then uh, put every single piece in here. Remember what's next? Butter. Thank you Chance, the garlic butter. That will look like this. It's got this color because of the little smoked paprika. Let's just go one more. Holy shit. And we roll. Take this guy over the top, bring our sides in, and there you have it. There you have it. By the way, the burrito chapter in the book has step-by-step -step rolling instructions. It's gonna be hard to beat, and uh, you tell me if we should have a bite of this. We could look at it all day long, or we could do whatever you want, Max, you're in charge. And we cut. Like that. 
and like <laughs> just look at this silly thing look at that silly thing and so now it's time for the bites and this my friends is uh pretty astro pretty much my uh, favorite time of the show a puerto nuevo style lobster burrito rice beans and this beautiful lobster and like i said wait for it there's nothing wrong with getting a little extra butter a little oh yeah come on come on come on come on well, it's a bite you want it to be a good bite that's what you do in the restaurants there's tons of butter and and then this oh fuck me sorry oh my god okay just a couple things one damn Two, if you hit the link below or go to thecookingguy.com, you'll find the place that you can enter your name and junk like that. If you buy the book in advance, if you pre-order the book, great. If you don't, great, still put your name there. I'm gonna pick somebody, could be you, and then this could be us. That'd be fun, huh? A little private thing. And the third thing is a shout out to Doodles and Things. A Max will put a little uh, graphic on the screen. He animated us. He's very talented. And I will say, he caught us exactly, boys. He gets us. He really gets us. Thank you, Damien. I could reward you with one of these, but I don't even know where you live.